So today let us see our new problem that is move all positive and negative element on one side. That means move all negative elements to end. That means you need to uh, bring all the negative elements to the end. That's it. So you can't use sorting technique here. Right? Why? Because let me explain. You. Given an unsorted array of size n having both negative and positive integers, it asks is to place all the negative elements at the end of the array without changing the order of the positive elements and the negative elements. That means they have given some elements which are positive and negative. So we need should not change the order. That is what the condition is. So what uh, what the brute force? If you read only this thing, you what would you what the first thing comes to your mind is? Let me sort it and let me reverse it. So when I sort the negative elements will come to the left and positive elements will go to the right. Then I will reverse it. So simple to uh, under library uh, sorry library algorithm. You are going to use sort and reverse. That is what you thought, right? But if you, that is what uh, I am telling you, you need to read the question completely and carefully. Each and every words, every uh, words you need to cover. Now, the order should be kept. Order should be kept. So, order means what? 1, 3. The, let me talk about the positive elements. You have 1, 3, 2, 11, 6. So, their order should be kept. So, how, what I can do? So, let us let me see what the time complexity is. Time complexity is, bi is big of m. That means I can't use any nested for loop. I should not use any nested for loop. So, it will become big of n square. So, space complexity is big of m. That means what? That means what? You can use other, 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 again, another array you can use, right? Because they have given you, like indirectly telling you, use some array, right? Like a temporary array, right? You store every element, right? You need to return. Actually, you should not return because it is a void tag. That means you need to copy those elements into array itself, right? You can do that. So let let us do that. They have not mentioned don't use any space or anything. They they said nothing, right? So let us do this. <coughs> so I will traverse through this array. If I find element which is positive, I will push back. I will push back into it. For first iteration, I will do that. First iteration, I am going to do that. In the next iteration, I will again run the array. Now, I am going to check. Is it negative? Then I will push back. Right? You can understand, right? I will first push back the positive. I will do two iteration for the given array. In the first iteration, I will take all the positive elements into my new array. Right? Order will be kept and positive elements will be filled. Then next next iteration i will push back only the only the this negative elements that's it so let me create an array arf of what size n let me give it as n so sorry let me take it as some other other variable name a let me take it as a okay now i will traverse through this given array i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus so if that element what you are searching if it is greater than equal to 0 that means it is positive then you make a a of i should be equal to a r r of i so i made a mistake i think made a mistake you see i need to take a new variable here for j right i will be updated this i will be updating like based on what are the positive elements so at that position, I, I should not change. If I change, that means I am creating, I'm simply copying the given array, right? I should not do that. So let me take another variable. Let me call it as j. And it is initially at 0. Okay. Okay. Now, again, j should be less than n. I can take or even if I don't take, it will work. So now I need to increment. Should I increment? No. I will increment inside this for loop whenever I need it. So let me do that. So let me copy this and paste this here. So I should be changed to J. Whenever I update this new array, then only I am incrementing the J value. Right? Then only I am incrementing the J value. Initially it is 0. And it will check again and again whether J is as an So that is what happens. Now, now one for loop is completed. One for loop is completed. Now 
j value will be updated right j value value will be j plus plus at last it will be j plus plus now let us let me write another for loop where i will be equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus i will get inside if this a r r of i if it is less than 0 that means if it is negative what you are going to do what you are supposed to do is a of j here i may get the error because j was declared inside inside this for loop so let me declare outside let me make it as 0 because it should not give me variable is not declared so in order to prevent that i am going to do this now j is incremented so i don't need to increment again so it will be uh, in the incremented form so let me do this a r r of i right a r r of i then let me increment now so my new array is completed my new array has this answer so let me copy this so let me run another for loop from i is equal to 0 i is to i is equal to n i plus plus then here what i am going to do is a r r of i will be equal to a of i that's it that's it let me compile i shall get some compiler error so that is what i do usually so i am not getting any compiler error so let me submit let me submit i am using three for loops but they are not nested remember that big of n n plus n plus n 3n 3n can be approximated to n so big of n time and again is right so thank you